more like a red, red around I think red, red is the worst color you can have. Smaller elements goes into O2. You told it here, right? Well, that's the natural sanitation process that God had to do so that you can actually exist here on the ground level. So we tried to mimic that entire effort. We mimic that entire effort by creating this device. We call this sterilization, right? Because it really is. A lot of you have seen air filtration systems that actually have a filter in between, trapping all of the bacteria. But understand, bacteria continues to grow. So on the warning labels, when you've ever purchased an air sanitizer or air filter, there's never instructions for taking out that filter that say, you probably okay, should have a hazmat suit on. Get some rest? Because everything that you were just protecting yourself from, uh, while well, you're just exposed to having your dose at the changing of the filter. So what if I told you that this didn't have a filter whatsoever? But instead, it had a bio that worked a lot like the tap cycle. So you don't want to leave. Here it is. Ox M2O2 comes into here. And by graphene C, we ionize and disassociate, we split into O2. That's like fusion reaction. We split into O2 into its elemental states, where oxygen is now allowed to bond to form ozone in what we call this kill zone. The nitrogen radical rolls around the chamber and then is affected by a catalyst, UVC, that in effect allows the nitrogen to bombard the ozone so that you have no ozone release at discharge. And guys, I don't know if you realize how crazy that is. It's probably the most important change that has happened in our well, last 50 years because we just became conscious of the very air that we breathe. For the most part, we've taken air at a passive state, right? Because we were always told nitrogen is inert. That's why you never learned about it. Nitrogen as inert, that, that's kind of crazy when it makes up of 80% of our atmosphere. Through our research, we found out that only five volts of electricity change nitrogen from one position to another. Meaning, we, five volts of electricity can literally change nitrogen from its inert state to an active state. That's a very big thing. Especially for a company like ours because we were building antennas that actually put off a lot more frequency or radiation or RF values radiation frequencies put the acronyms together, right? Our antennas was putting off the radiation frequency that would actually affect the nitrogen's position within our atmosphere. Oh, this is a whistleblower. Because no one else is going to tell you that our antenna, the one that we built, was actually changing nitrogen from an inert state to an active state. And what did that mean? Active nitrogen, magnet, or airborne bacteria that you're consuming, that when it goes through your biodigestive process, allows that oxygen to do what it does throughout the system. But yet the nitrates and nitrites that are derived from that biodiversity are now deposited in your memory and testicular glands. Oh, I'm sorry. The origin of cancer. You know, it's our responsibility as manufacturers to tell the buying public and those that sell these technologies to other consumers the actual goods, bads, or indifference about the technologies that we build. 
and the responsible ones of us actually look back at the things that we built and realize that if it had a negative effect on society, it might be a, it might be a time to pivot in your research plan. You know, I started this talk today about nitrogen, and this sterilizer is ridiculously awesome, right? Because from the outside, if you, when I'm done with my talk, I need you to walk through this little area right here, have them put the handheld sterilizer to your nose, and for the first time, many of you are going to experience what pure M2O2 actually feels like. Not smells like, but feels like, because guess what? That is your fuel. And you live on bread alone. Yeah. And if that bread is a carbon, yep, yeah, you can. Because carbon is what you burn off. Pop, which means some other carbon uh, is used as a fuel.